All righty then. Uh, I didn't see that one coming. The Love family didn't see that one coming. The LaFleur family didn't see that one coming. Not even the, the Jones family and uh, him plus 24 tickets saw that one coming. I don't think even the most optimistic Green Bay Packer fan saw that one coming. And even the Dallas Cowboy hater, I'll even say that, even the worst Dallas Cowboy hater could not have seen this tail kicking coming. I know everyone's going to be trolling. But holy smokes, the Green Bay Packers, the youngest team to make the NFL playoffs in 50 years, just strolled into a spot where no road team won all season long. None. You can make the argument the Cowboys were the best home team this year. That young team youngest greenest team they put the green in green bay the youngest team in 50 years just strolled into dallas and put the most points dallas has ever given up in a playoff game on these cowboys and became the first seven seed to win a playoff game in jordan love's first playoff appearance taking over for aaron Rodgers. that just happened they were awesome. Everybody, Dobbs, name anybody. Everybody killed it. LaFleur killed it. Barry killed it. The defensive coordinator that everybody wanted to kill. Joe Barry was being run out on a rail. And they just won this playoff game going away, putting Packers fans in a rocking chair pretty much from jump with a 12-play drive to start the game to take half the quarter away, then get the ball back, then score again, then pick six, Dak. I'm, I'm, I'm going to choose to use this moment to talk about the Packers because, boy, are we going to be talking about the Cowboys and who's next there? Is McCarthy going to eat it? Is it Belichick? Pretty much could be anybody who's out there available if Jerry Jones wants to go in that direction. You know he doesn't. But holy smokes, Green Bay is now heading to San Francisco, and they do the Lions a huge favor, despite all that, you know, reporting is eligible hoopla, costing them the two seed. They're now the second highest seed in the NFC playoffs as I'm talking into this microphone. And if they beat the Rams tonight, they get another home playoff game. But if they don't, believe it or not, what this sets up, if the Rams win tonight, this sets up the Monday night football super wild card weekend finale for the right to host a playoff game next week. Guess the Eagles. The Eagles could not only last longer than the Dallas Cowboys if they win on Monday night in Tampa, but if the Rams win tonight and knock out the Lions, the Eagles could host a divisional playoff game. What the hell's going on? And that is the headline of the Green Bay Packers. Kudos, congratulations to them. Man, and the Dallas Cowboys, what the hell was that? Awful. I mean, talk about going down in flames. Wow. Congratulations, Green Bay fans. You have every right to just be on cloud nine. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.